Welcome to this Giftworks video. In this video, I want to show you how you can upgrade to Giftworks 2013. Giftworks 2013 was released on July 10th, 2012, and includes brand new and improved features to help you and your organization get even more out of Giftworks. There are six easy steps to upgrading to Giftworks 2013. The first step is to read the Giftworks Upgrade Guide. The Giftworks Upgrade Guide contains detailed information to help you go through the process of upgrading from a previous version of Giftworks to Giftworks 2013. When you purchase the Giftworks upgrade, you can use the link that was located in the email that you received after you made your purchase. Or you can visit our customer care center located at support.giftworksconnect.com and search for the word guide where you'll find a link to download and view the Giftworks upgrade guide. The second step to upgrading to Giftworks 2013 is to note the location of your Giftworks database file. That Giftworks database file contains all your donor and donation information. Let's go over to Giftworks and check out how you note the location of your Giftworks database file. I'm on the sign-in page of Giftworks 2012 and I see my database name, demo database, and I see my username listed here, but I don't see a database path. You may see a database path between database and username, but if you don't, simply click the options link and click on show full database location and that's going to now show your full database location the location to your your giftworks database file or your gds file you're going to want to make sure you write this down uh, copy it somewhere so that after you upgrade to giftworks 2013 you'll be able to recall where this location is this location may also begin with two backslashes that would indicate more of a network location so whether it begins with a drive letter or it begins with double backslash, make sure you, locate, you note the full location of your Giftworks database file. The third step in upgrading to Giftworks 2013 is to back up your Giftworks database. This is an important step to ensure that you have a safe and secure copy of all your donor and donation information. Let's go over to Giftworks and check out how that's done. So to create a backup of my Giftworks information before upgrading to Giftworks 2013, I'm going to want to sign into Giftworks. And I'm going to go to the settings area. And under the database files and maintenance option, I'm going to click backup your database. It's going to provide me a window that's going to allow me to back up. Now if you're using a different version of Giftworks, a different previous version of Giftworks, your backup window may look slightly different. You want to make sure that you specify the location and a name for your Giftworks database file. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to let it go to my, my documents folder and I'm going to put in Giftworks backup and I'm going to put a date. It's always good to kind of date stamp your file to know when it was backed up and click on backup now. It's going to go through, yes, I, and my backup is now complete. So I've created a backup and if I go to my documents and if I view under it's going to be called, there we go, Giftworks Backup 2012-0707. Now, it's probably not good or a great idea to leave it in your My Documents folder. It's probably a good idea to copy that to a thumb drive or a CD-ROM, something where you can um, take it uh, with you, uh, put it in a safe and secure location, not on the same computer where your uh, Giftworks database file is located. But once you've backed up your database, you're ready to go on to the next step. The fourth step in upgrading to Giftworks 2013 is to download and install Giftworks 2013 on your computer. Or if you have multiple computers in your office, you'll want to install Giftworks 2013 on each of those computers. Let's check that out. Well, let's download and install Giftworks 2013. The first step I want to do is I want to close the existing version of Giftworks that I have open. So make sure any version is closed. And now I'm going to open up a browser and I'm going to download Giftworks. There's a number of different places that you can download Giftworks from. You'll probably want to use the link that is included in the email that you received when you purchased your upgrade. But I'm going to go to giftworksconnect.com slash giftworks slash downloads, which will download the latest version of Giftworks. And it's begin to, begin to download. Uh, and now it's complete. I've downloaded this. Let me move it into, there we go. You can see it's Giftworks 2013. So I'm going to double click on this now. And to begin the process, of installing Giftworks 2013. So you download it and then you just simply double click on it and it'll start the installation process. Now I'm going to let this start up and the first, it's going to click the next button, 
accept the terms and agreements. I'm going to indicate that I want to install for anyone who uses this computer. That is the recommended setting. And I'm going to now, at, when I get to this screen, if you had Giftworks and Events installed prior to upgrading to Giftworks 2013, meaning if you've purchased it and you're using it, you're going to want to make sure that, you're, that you install uh, this 30-day trial. Now, it says a trial, but this right below it, it says this option can also be used to update an older version of Giftworks Events, and the same for volunteers. So make sure that if you're either using a trial uh, in your previous version of Giftworks or you've actually, you've actually purchased it and you're using it, make sure you install these. These will install the latest version of Giftworks Events and volunteers. If you're not using either one of them, you can just uncheck these, but if you're using either one of them, make sure you check these so that it'll install the latest version of Giftworks Events and Volunteers. So let me click on Next. At the bottom, it's a real important message. You'll see it says, if you after you click Install, this button down here, there will be a brief pause while the previous version of Giftworks is removed. So I'm going to get that started. And what it's doing now is it's simply removing the previous version of Giftworks. In my case, it's Giftworks 2012. In your case, it may be a, another different version. But um, also bear in mind that with the instructions that I've shown you so far, if you happen to be coming from Giftworks 2006, which is a pretty old version of Giftworks at this point, there will be uh, a number of questions that you'll need to get prepared for. So uh, as uh, this is uninstalling, if you are using Giftworks 2006, pay special attention, especially to the Giftworks upgrade guide, as you'll need to uh, be able to answer a number of questions when upgrading your Giftworks database, which we're going to do in just a couple minutes. So we're going to wait for this to finish installing. Uh, this is installing Giftworks. Uh, 2013. Giftworks 2013 does contain brand new features like integration with Constant Contact. If you're using uh, that email service, Constant Contact, then you'll probably find the integration with Giftworks very helpful. We also include integration with your social media networks like Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. It allows you to not only connect to those social media networks, but also see some of your news feeds right inside of Giftworks. You can also communicate with donors right inside of Giftworks through your social networks. We also contain other uh, up, uh, improved tools like an improved address validation tool, improvements to our soft credits, uh, soft credit functionality, uh, additional reports, and, and, uh, and smart list criteria. And well, it just finished installing Giftworks. Now it's installing Giftworks events. This will be installing the latest version of Giftworks events. This won't take just, this will take just a couple seconds. Great, now it's installing Giftworks Volunteers. Great, and now my installation of Giftworks 2013 is all set, and I'm gonna let it launch Giftworks. Now it's launched Giftworks 2013, and I'm ready to get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is I can either enter my license key, and that license key will be contained in an email that you received after you purchase your upgrade, or you can simply try Giftworks for free, and that'll start a 30-day trial of Giftworks 2013. And I'm just going to do that right now. I'm going to provide my registration information and click Next. And I'll end up at the sign in screen. I'm going to go through this basic process, check for updates. And I'm just going to say use the sample database for now. And I'm going to get back to the sign in screen. And now I'm ready to take the next step. The fifth step in upgrading to Giftworks 2013 is to sign in and upgrade your Giftworks database. In step two, you noted the location of your Giftworks database, and you're going to use that location now to sign in to your Giftworks database and ensure that it's upgraded to be compatible with Giftworks 2013. Let's check out how that's done. I'm now ready to sign in to the Giftworks database file that I used with my previous version of Giftworks. This would be the Giftworks database file that you wrote down in step two of these upgrade steps. So I'm going to click on the options link and click on select an existing database. And I'm going to browse to that location that I wrote down on step two. So I'm going to go to my documents and I under demo database, I'm going to be clicking on open. Keep in mind, the file that you're searching for is a GDS file. It is not the backup file that you created in step three. That backup file was only created in the event that something went wrong. So in this case, I'm going to be opening up the GDS file. You should be looking for the location that was noted in step two, which is your GDS file. It may be a network location, which starts with double backslash, or it may be another mapped drive letter. Um, so either way, you're going to want to browse to the location that you wrote in step two. And then click Next. I'm going to then choose my user. 
and click Done. Once I'm ready, I can simply click the Sign In button and Giftworks will alert me that it needs to upgrade the database. Keep in mind, if I'm using an older version of Giftworks, like Giftworks 2006, I may be asked more than just to click the Upgrade button. Other versions may only require that you click the Upgrade button. Refer to the Upgrade Guide if you have any questions. But I'm gonna, when I'm ready, I'm going to click the Upgrade Guide, and what this is going to do is simply make my previous version of Giftworks, the Giftworks database file that I used with my previous version of Giftworks, it's going to make it compatible with Giftworks 2013. And so I'm going to click on Upgrade. It's going to go through. The process may take longer if you have more information in there. Uh, bear in mind, do not uh, stop that process. It could take, uh, it could take many, many minutes. Um, it could take just a few seconds. So either way, make sure that you let it finish what it needs to do. It could take a, a bit of time. Once it's all set, you'll be signed into Giftworks and you're ready to get started with Giftworks 2013. The final step in upgrading to Giftworks 2013 is simply to learn more about Giftworks 2013. You can visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash giftworksconnect and you can find this video series titled What's New in Giftworks 2013. There's videos in there that show you the latest and greatest features that we've included in Giftworks 2013. You can always go to our website too, located at giftworksconnect.com. And if you have any issues upgrading to Giftworks 2013, you can always contact our Giftworks customer care team. They're there to help, they're there to give you assistance or support if you have any issues in upgrading to Giftworks 2013. You can reach them at support at giftworksconnect.com or you can, locate, you can locate them at support.giftworksconnect.com. We hope Giftworks 2013 has great features that you're able to take advantage of to help you and your organization be successful at accomplishing your mission. Thanks for watching.